somebody leaves you and comes back and you just left me to marry and when the marriage go tougher and tougher you are coming back foul through men marry with their eyes whereas women they marry with their ears so when it comes to communication those of you who are wise be careful the way you dress in the night when my wife and i go into a uh, bed the way she dress her dress is trying to talk to me and so wives you must know that your body belongs to jesus and your own husband it's a sin for you to sleep with a strange woman apart from your wife if you say i'm not in the mood what do you mean if you are not in the mood he is in the mood now give it to him so you have about four billion women you are supposed to marry one the whole world is at your disposal don't make mistake why will you go for somebody's leftover don't go for leftover you are wondering thinking and seeking answers are you single married or in a relationship do you have challenges bringing up your children in the godly way do you have challenges in your marriage then join us this very saturday and every other saturday at 7 pm on family matters peace chapel facebook live and your family will take a good turn family matters redefining your homes Amazing web. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without Him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, See. back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate Peace Chapel International at the Yamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel with International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Shalom. Amazing web. It's a joy to have to come your way every Saturday evening at 7 p.m. Sharp live on Facebook. We are streaming live from the premises of Peace Chapel International. We are at Nyameche opposite Motorway Mother Care. And this is Family Matters. Today's topic is Money Matters. We want to take a quick break when we come back. The main topic and what we have for you will be delved into. Thank you. Amazing web. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. My your God, make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without Him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, See. back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5:30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate Peace Chapel International at the Nyamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel With International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Joy. Shalom. Amazing Web. Thank you for staying tuned. This is Family Matters, and we are happy to have to come your way once again. Today we are talking about money matters. When you look around you, everything... I mean, everything has something to do with money. Your clothes, your hair, your shoes, what I'm wearing today, everything has to do with money. So today's topic is, is a necessity. So wherever you are, if you have any friend, any family member, any relative, try to like the page, share with them, invite them, let them come on live on Facebook. Just search Peace Chapel and they'll be on or just click on the link and they'll be there. Or send your questions to 55 
Kindly send all your questions, suggestions, comments on money matters. Today, we are blessed to have the birthday man. We've been celebrating him for the month of September. He's the general overseer of Peace Chapel International, a renowned counselor and a blessed man of God. He's a family man. He has um, four kids and he's blessed. Wherever he goes, he teaches with power and he teaches the mind of God to understand it. And he, he helps homes and he helps marriages through the grace of God. So we have Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo Efo Selassie Bishop Grace is in the house tonight. Bishop, you are welcome to Family Matters. Thank you. You are looking as young as ever. To God be the glory. <laughs> Great things he has done. Yes. Mm, Bishop, I hope um, your family, everyone is fine. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. And don't forget, when you say family, two different families. Mm. Uh, the biological, like my wife and kids, kids. and the family preacher globally. Mm, globally. Everywhere. Mm. And preacher poor in US, UK, Ghana, mm. uh, like past in all branches. Everywhere. 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 They are all okay. So I can sense this. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to all Peace Chapel members watching. God bless you so much. The lovers of Peace Chapel and the members all over the world. God bless you so much for supporting this vision that God has given all of us. Bishop, so today's topic is very interesting and um, very vital. Money matters. We are talking about money. Bishop, everyone likes money. Everyone needs money. We want to talk about the positive aspects, the negative aspects, what money causes people to do in general, money matters. So to begin with, what would you say money matters is? Uh, first and foremost, let's thank God for mm. all online viewers around the globe. I've seen some people from Belgium, from the States, Canada, right here mm -hmm. on this program. And uh, we also want to thank God for the church that the preach chapel leadership of the church allowing us to be here. I want to thank God for those who bought all this machine for us. Yes, you know? yes, Somebody and his wife here decided to help mm. the kingdom of God. May God bless all of them. Amen. And, uh, God bless us for the power who is also backing us mm. everywhere. And we want to also want to thank uh, all those who help us celebrated uh, my birthday, especially yeah. I have hundreds and thousands of uh, calls and messages mm. everywhere. Mm. As a matter of fact, uh, yesterday I had about 200 people that have not even responded to. Wow. So wow. It's, a, it's a joy. Who mm -hmm. are we? I mean, who am I to be loved? Mm -hmm. And so thank God that people love us. What is money matters? Mm -hmm. Money matters from the now perspective simply means issues concerning your finances. Mm -hmm. Issues concerning your finances, your debt, how you, you make money. She needs a sikasem. I don't know whether somebody called a champo, blah, 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 gave a song on money matters. Mm. So money matters simply means issues concerning money. Uh, let's say uh, you are a young girl and you can't pay uh, your bills, your rent. Why? Because of money matters. A young man, you need money to marry and because you lack it, money, money matters. matters. Husband and wife, you are fighting. Money matters. Uh, minister of Sofo and your members, money to do programs. Money is always issues concerning finances generally, and it cuts across all affairs of life. It's all about issues of money. Mm. Either you are in debt, or somebody owe you, or you owe somebody. This, these are all money matters. You've seen a very nice car you want to go and buy. You look at a car, but you, you lack purchasing power. Why? Because of money matters. And many, many, many more. So money matters, the general topic, it covers everything concerning your finances. Uh, you want to do PhD abroad, you want to do M M MBA somewhere. Why, why are you here? Money matters. You, you have seen this young girl called Nancy. You want to marry her. And uh, money matters. And uh, Nancy is here. Oh, I don't even know you are here. <laughs> money matters. So it's, 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 uh, it, it cut across everything. It's mm. all about Issues of finances, isn't it? Chini said, a new one, It in a way it appears money rules our world in a way, and money is a good thing. But in general, money matters simply means issues concerning every individual's cooperative organizations, mm -hmm. 
finances and mm. what have you. Yeah. Wow. Money matters is indeed a broad topic mm -hmm. and very vital to our lives. Bishop, so I want to acknowledge some of our viewers who are watching right now. We have Alex Sechi, he's watching. Kofi Boats, he says, I like the topic. Kofi Minta is watching. Patricia Fum is also watching. And Mami Sewa Boate is watching. Thank you all so much for watching and staying tuned with Peace Chapel and Family Matters. We are privileged and we love you all. Bishop, when we posted this um, flyer, I got a couple of questions. So okay. I, I would want us to tackle the questions our viewers have. Go first. ahead. Yes, so the first question says that what must a Christian do with his substance? A from Christian. Paul. Paul is from Tabora. He says, what must a Christian do with his money? Well, if for a child of God, you belong to God. And if I belong to God, it includes everything you have, and it includes your money, mm -hmm. because you are not your own. In a way, we are all tenants, mm -hmm. and we have only one landlord. God is the landlord, and mm -hmm. so in a way, God the only landlord, and we are all tenants. And as a tenant, you are just uh, renting or hiring somebody's apartment. So it, you don't uh, those things that belong to you. And so if, if you claim we were Christian, you are saying. I have made Jesus my king. To say Jesus is my Lord simply means that I have submitted my will under him. Mm. Right? So I am under and he is standing. That's mm. number one. If you have that, those understanding or this understanding, then your money belongs to God. Mm. And as a child of God, if you have given your life to Jesus, it includes your money as well. For us, for example, Peter Chapel International, we believe in tithing. So if you're a child of God, your money... 10% doesn't belong to you. And some people even go and send or pay more than, more than 10%. You can also give give to the needy and the poor. Mm. So if you pay your tithe, and uh, we have kingdom investments, you know, let's say we are building a church, we are building a hospital, very soon we are going to start our own. So, Amen. yes. So all those things, if you're a child of God and God has blessed you, you take some mm. of your income after mm. your tithe to help make sure hospitals, schools, universities, and the needy are helped by your money. And the rest, use the money for yourself, enjoy yourself with your family. Mm. So a Christian, part of your money belongs to the kingdom. It's, it's not even for you. Wow. When it comes to 10%, God said, bring my tithe. Mm. So 10% belongs to God, and if for a kingdom promoter, even the 90% too belongs to God in a way. Mm. And then you have the needy and the poor in the church, in the society. That help, you know. Uh, I have a, a sister-in-law somewhere that all the time is helping people, all the time. Yeah, so as a child of God, your money belongs to God. Yes, mm -hmm. that after you're going part to help the needy, the poor, then you need to enjoy your life, your own self. I mean, you don't need to use money mm -hmm. for women, let's say for a man. Uh -uh. Wow. Part of your wife and your children, mm -hmm. you make sure you take good care of your wife. If you can buy her house, buy her house. Hey. If you can take her outside, I mean, why not? If you can take her to maybe... Hawaii to enjoy Caribbean mm -hmm. is important. Wow. You got to do so, and then you need to dress good too. Mm -hmm. Sure, I mean you'll be addressed by your dressing. What is it? If God blesses you, maso, maso. it's important, very very vital. At the end, you will be as ah, yes, again now as old DBA turn the channel help people. Mm -hmm. So I began by saying, give some to the kingdom of God. Make sure you do that, mm -hmm. and the needy and the poor to have their say. The rest belongs to you and your wife. Enjoy the money. Yes, make sure you have enjoyed it. Money proper. is good. Yeah. And make sure you enjoy the money. So if you are watching me and you see my beautiful shirts, it's made by Mickey Brand. So he's making me look very neat this evening. Thanks to Mickey Brand. So wherever you are, if you want your shirts to be printed, just link up to Mickey Brand and you'll be sorted out. And my beautiful makeup was made by... African crepe. That's my lovely little sister Mary, and she made me beautifully. Thanks to her too. So if you are watching, we are talking about money matters. Kindly bring in your questions. Any question you have concerning money, kindly bring it in. I think I have a question from Memuna Seidu. Wow. Okay, is a comment. She says, I can't keep calm if Bishop Michael Adolfo is even coughing on. <laughs> 
Wow. Wow. Is even coughing on Facebook or radio, seriously, watching and wishing to see him one day before I die. Wow. Oh, That's a Jesus. blessing. Glory to God. It's an, it's an honor. Wow. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. And wherever you, you hear him cough or sneeze, please be there. Make sure you, you see him, actually. And I, I pray that your wish will be granted. Amen. Amen. Bishop, our next question is, is it right for a Christian to be too generous whilst being harmed monetarily? How do you mean being harmed? Um, I think his point is that, you see, some people give too much. I don't know how to actually, but give too much to the extent that they rather get in depth and that they help to the extent that they lose. Oh, but that one is not common sense. Okay. I mean, we are told mm -hmm. to love our neighbor as ourselves. Mm -hmm. You can't not love your neighbor and then hate yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that one is not common sense. You mm -hmm. need to structure your, your, your income, you know, and you need to budget your life. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, those who are young people who are about to enter into marriage, okay. money is a key that you can't afford to just spend that money mm -hmm. at all. You got to make sure you are second spread when it comes to your spending. Mm -hmm. And the same way if you are in marriage too, very important. You can't get overspent. Mm -hmm. Because the truth is that they say, Odoka kakra, sika kakra. Masa, sika ni huwa wasoba esio. The way I look at you, kakra, like this. Hey, the man who is going to marry you, oh, you my own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na wasoba esio, he's a woman who is a And the truth. And uh, so, oh, that's not like overspending is not the best thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... At least you got to spend, but you got to spend according to your means. Yes. Especially 2020 coronavirus mm. has given us a serious thing to think about. Mm -hmm. That there might be perpetual savings somehow, somewhere. Mm -hmm. You can't just squander money. So help the needy, help the poor, make sure you support the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But at least you must, common sense must tell you that if you have family, you need to make sure you have some money for you and yourself. So. For you to give and expect that money will harm you or your mm -hmm. giving will harm mm -hmm. you is not common sense. Not common and that sense. is not Bible at all. Wow. Yeah. That is not Bible. At all. At he all. says, is it sinful to have money? But when people ask, you don't give out based on experiences. So in relation to the question you just answered, so you realize that this particular person or particular group of people tend to rely on you for money. And then it's um, hurting you, or they tend to lend or borrow money and they don't pay back. Well, for me, if you may, somebody just came to me some time ago, mm -hmm. maybe four years ago, and he, he, he works, he has a company. He said, Oh, I have uh, a contract, I need 1500 so that when I finish uh, doing this work, I'll come and pay it back. This man is older than me, he's not in our church anyway. Mm. But at least that time, they pay me salary somewhere. So I went to do a delicious somewhere, have some money. I gave to him. And oh. for four years, he didn't pay. So that's it. You can't come to me anymore. Mm. You come, you say, me, I'm not bank. Me, you cry, me, who am I? The only charity. Me, preach you, I'm sorry. Now go for, if you are sort of way to your car. You go other churches, you travel around the globe. So it's a form of, like, charity. Mm. So if you come and it's in the name of borrowing, you don't bring it. First, that's it. And so for me, I discovered that for me not to hurt anybody, if you say, give me this, and I, even I have, and you say, borrow, I don't want to borrow money to you, but I rather give you part, take. Okay, okay. And so let's say this so guy. So you don't expect uh, anything. Not back. at all. This person who asked 1,500, I should have given him like 500, take. Uh, but this 1,500, you know, mm. and that's not right. So mm. if people give, uh, come to you, there's in the name of borrowing Boy. and other stuff, you got to know the person. Mm. And if he comes and takes one, he doesn't pay again, that's it. Mm. You don't need to continue giving money to people who are not ready to, to refund or to pay. Mm. But for me, as I said, the small time I live on earth, mm. borrowing money to your loved ones at times, it brings challenges. So if they want to borrow money, they should go to bank. But what you need to do is give them something. Give them something. Yeah, a part of what they've that's asked. That's all. Because oh, oh, you have a This year, go far no more the more this year. Yes, I don't need to hear. Mm -hmm. I mean, people come to you. Oh, hello, give me. They, they won't come and pay. They won't pay. And so by my experience, no more borrowing. Mm -hmm. But if God gives you something small, 
and you want me to give you some fine. If you ask me, I will divide into five, into three. It depends on the money. It depends on the need too. Because yes, we'll be here and there, Then you need to help people. For me, you can love God and hate your brother, and never also uh, rely on your experience by other people okay. and make and a general uh -huh. mm -hmm. because that in sociology there's a word called generalization okay. because this person came and took money and took money they didn't pay i'm not going to give money again okay. no that's wrong in mm -hmm. other words you are using one or two people experiences to judge all so for in my case i don't want to borrow money mm. because me cry i am nobody mm. i live on charity wow okay me many many a fool many bank be a in the church. In Tizonia, from that point. But I'm not going to say, okay, I came to me, he took this money, so I won't give money. No, I can never say that. If we ask two things, either you do good or you do the opposite. Mm -hmm. But for me, the Bible said, keep on doing good. And mother papa And just that got to be wise when it comes to giving mm. uh, mango phone take you for right wow. not at all okay so with giving is very important to use wisdom bishop says don't judge one nut by with everyone don't just conclude and generalize it that because one person or two or more people did it to you you are not going to help is it sinful he says let's use wisdom but rather give give like a third um, of the amount, just divide it into three or four or two. The amount you can give and don't expect it back. That way, you would um, prevent any. Maybe any I know you have more or, questions, yeah. but I just also want to chip in a bit. Okay. That in married relationship, mm. money plays a major role, very important. Mm. And so I want to encourage husband, especially number one. The whole world, I don't know the West, but here in Africa, if a husband, you need to make money. Very important. In a, not a dubious way. Mm. In other words, don't be a lazy person. Don't tell me that I lost my job. Right now, coronavirus have come, and because of that, some people are probably civil servants. Uh, they have been laid off. But hey, put yourself together. Get some to do it. So you can bring money home. And the same way, I also encourage the wives, because you, they are also helpers. Since money plays a major role in a relationship, any of our man yo can I ask you a question? Bishop, can I ask you a question? Me, you, yes. Uh -huh. So, if you, a man <laughs> a man says, Yes, if a man says, I want to marry you, mm -hmm. and the man has married you, and one year he has not given you nothing, will you be happy? Hey, no, no, <laughs> one year is even far. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. you see the point. So, it simply means that. If uh, somebody is also a young man that he has not married, mm. don't just make a decision to marry without having proper work. In other words, there must be flow, there must be income. Mm. Yes, before you marry. Wow. And yes, I And mm. I also encourage the young girls also to do something for themselves. Money plays a major role. Major role. And for me, even as a pastor, because I've been there before, I am not rich, but I've been in poverty before. But at mm. least in between, I say, uh, this is better than mm -hmm, poverty. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which yeah, if you meet the poverty, you need to put I mean if you can butcher poverty, do so. Oh yeah, so for crying now this guy will preach you different. Yes. Oh yeah. And don't beg guy respected in his or community. I feel now for a sort of my age of my as our message rag from you know many, many years ago when I was in Bible school, thirty two years ago, I went to a church to preach and one elder misbehaved. He's a married man, and he went and to slept with a slain woman. And uh, she gave this woman pregnant. So I told them, let's discipline him. Oh, and as so, a pastor. As a pastor. And then uh, he was excommunicated in a way. Okay. Ah, the next Saturday I went to preach. Because every Saturday I go to him, I pray for him, give him money. When he sees me, say, oh, but what's here? You are coming. Who took me to give me Because you were dependent ah. on him at that time. And then when I, I was leaving, I was like, what? What what have I done? Mm. So if you don't have money, you can't stand for the truth. Yes. No question said that some young girls are unless people who are greedy, who are not content with all they have. There are some young ladies are. If money is their own chimpra da. Oh bishop. Oh, but they be one mile the way be Jimmy was said that you know, some people 
and now I have Brazilian hair, or China Egyptian hair, tomorrow Ghana hair, or China Alexandra hair, Woodbridge hair. I know that. I know it be so. I say, I need to go vote here. Oh, the military. Yeah, I think in fact, money matters. Very important. Very important. Ah, to the people who say, yeah, get your power. If he has like ten Ghana, two dollar, one. Even two pounds a day, go on Chimpana. Yeah. I'm not also saying this, that because it's, of that, you know, Chimpana, right. David, 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 or Chimpana, I will say, mm -hmm. only better. Mm -hmm. I just want to make emphasis that money is good. Mm -hmm. Just that today, some people have also gone ahead of their, I mean, their life. In other words, they use dubious ways. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Because over here, we came here with, with nothing and we live with nothing. So as much as money is good, we got to be careful how we get money but don't sell your body because of money no that is not right at all but money is good let us make money in a good way mm. for me if you give me 10 million today pounds i know what to do with it because already i have things in mind 10 million to in other words money is good let's make money just that use a good way to make money and see young girls now don't just want to, want to marry if you are not working, also I worry you. Sure, we need income also I worry. Because if you like, control fear when you are never, and then enter your mother man cannot pay. So we need money. So all young girls make money before you marry. It's important. As for the young man too, they need to do so. Mm, it's Very important. Vital. It's important. So Brakweku says, my wife is more expensive than maintaining my car. Why? My wife is it's more expensive than maintaining my car. Maintaining his car. Yes. But that means he spends more on his wife more than his car. But that's supposed to be the, the right thing. That's the right thing. Sure. Oh. Why would you spend more on your car Wherever than your you wife? Club for bishop. Bishop has just. You got to spend on your wife. Ah, wow. your car. Mm -hmm. How can you compare your car with your wife? Oh. A full-grown woman. Mm -hmm. Your children's mother. The, the woman that make you sleep in the night. Give you sleepy night. Hey. Give you golden nuggets. <laughs> don't say we need our better. We have to do so. Okay. Uh, Masa, boy, you don't want car. I did a car. Okay, so in marriage, is it compulsory for? Is it compulsory that your partner knows the money you have because you are one? Uh, if it is marriage, yes, because marriage is God is divine, mm. and this God who gave us this institution has his own bylaws. If you permit me, the two shall be one. As you just said, one in everything. Mm. How can you give your body to your wife and then you exclude your money mm. from her? What's the most important thing, your body or money? So for me, if I've married, everything, make it open. Just that there are some wives, according to the research I made in my findings, when they know everything that you have, they ask you unnecessary things. But mm. uh, that one, what are you going to do? Still, you need to apply common sense. But I will encourage you, if it is marriage, money must be open everything including your money money must be open everything, everything she need to your know money. your income your source of income and what to use your money for every dime every dime mm. very important okay since the man is the head is it compulsory to support him with payment of bills or financial bills but oh, yes because the bible says i will give the man a help mate mm. so you are the supporter like assistant so you, you got to sit down as a wife and ask yourself this is our home mm. it's our team you know when you look at a team 12 players you right 11 mm. players one is goalkeeper. goalkeeper and at times he, he, i mean his duty or her duty is to make sure no ball comes across the line mm. but at time when they're going get off you see goalkeepers becoming i mean strikers or foreign lines helping the team to win mm. right the same way at times when things are hard, uh, the strikers and the forward also come back to support the goalkeeper. So marriage is a team. As much as we have our individual roles, we need, we need to also uh, apply our roles interchangeably. Meaning, you can help him this way, she can help you this way. Don't just support your husband with your mouth. Mm. Uh, listen, the reason why some women, part of Africa, that they are not very, very much respected because... They are not uh, asset in their marriage, but they are liability because there's nothing coming from their end. So you can support. You can support your husband to pay bills. You can even buy your husband a car. Very important. You can support him. Very. 
everywhere that is necessary sure mm. you got to do so so just look for the loopholes and then fill in yeah okay yeah, very important nana ama of for you one man is watching um lee park says you always speak the truth god bless you efo salasi amen ishiraba asari says ha 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 wood bridge hair pa <laughs> uh. bishop's types of hair okay matsoda abuna fosu Kusogbo says, oh, daddy, say it again. Oh, poverty can lead us to where we don't want to, which is very, very true. Okay. Kojo Apia says, lovely program. Thank you all so much. We see you all. Thank you for your love, and thanks for watching. Kindly bring your questions in. As money matters, any question you have concerning money, any contribution you have, kindly bring it in. We'll read it and duly answer. Or you can send to 055 Six nine zero five five four five nine two five six nine. Thank you. So, Bishop, there is another question. It says, as a youth, how well can I save? Where do I start from? As a youth, mm. well, first and foremost, you need to get a job, and uh, to start from, you know, any money that comes in your hand, you must be able to make a decision that thirty percent after paying your tithe is untouchable. 30%. Yeah, so let's say. You your uh, yeah, let's say you are a youth. You, are, you don't have like 100% job, but mm -hmm. you help somebody and he gives you like 200 Ghana a month. A month. Immediately you receive the money. 20, 20, 10% is for the Lord. 30% mm -hmm. is for your future. Wow. Yeah. So, so you save that. You save that one. So that you start from somewhere. Mm. It doesn't matter how small, how it, small is. it is. You know, 1981. I had a, a farm, and then okay. I, I, after everything, I got some money from my corn farm, 600,000, which is like 60 Ghana. So I started saving 1981. How old were you at that time? I don't know. Just subtract and add. Wow. Uh, probably 16 years or something. At that age? Yes. So when I came to Accra here, almost 38, 39 years ago, I had savings. From a that there was a bank called National Savings and Credit Bank. I don't have, I've not seen it here. They, but they used to have uh, uh, a branch at Kanishi. Mm -hmm. So I came here in 1981 with savings from Achimona. Savings have been my life till today. And so don't wait. Start on some, even as a student. Mm -hmm. Yes, as a matter of fact, I have some small, small people around me as students. Immediately you hit 18, you need to do some savings. Mm -hmm. So... Where do he start? He must start from now, especially if there's some form of income. Mm -hmm. And so you got to do some uh, budgeting. Any money that comes on my way, as a child of God, 10% belongs to God, 30% belongs to my savings, mm -hmm. and it's untouchable. it's untouchable. If you do that, it will help. You see, here in Ghana, I don't know about that. Some people, the way they work is from hand, hand, hand and mouth, to mouth, hand to mouth. That's, That's not right. Salary. That is why during COVID-19, I mean, mm. it was bad for some people. It was very bad. Because nobody has preempt or prepared. And I, I hate it. He just came to church. No more church. What mm. are you going to do? That's how very necessary. So, for me, I love mm. the question. Mm. Youth, today's youth. Somebody came to me and said, oh, my youth. And then I sat down and then I look at her. Oh, but how am I doing? Oh, daddy, can I catch them penny phone in your thousand five? And then you have three phones. <laughs> me over 20 years, I have only one number. One number, mm -hmm. only one. Four million me the way. By the grace of God, if I need two, Peter Chapel can buy for me. If I need ten, one member can buy ten. Oh, yeah, Grammy, open a tomorrow, I'm in a body. But I don't need it. So, I need to advise her. I will give you 500, but before I do, Go and sell two of your phones. If you sell, you get two thousand. I'll add five and go and sell something. So we are we, are, we complain of that the Etikanians. Oh boy, how much do you buy? How much credit do you buy a week for data? data. Unnecessary data. I guess all the Facebook question and the videos, you play games. You see, and don't forget, there's no time anywhere. Mm. Start now. Ochana, what's my guess? Start now. Okay, so Alex Sechi says, Bishop, how do you reconcile with First Timothy 6 verse 10? For the love of money is the root of all evil. 
which will some converted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows against your submissions about money this evening. God bless you. Yeah, I think I, last week I even preached from this scripture, uh, 1 Timothy 6. Yeah, so I've also made emphasis of don't use dubious ways a amount of it. Okay. Yeah, so uh, money the root simply means that uh, most people, uh, they sin because of uh, lack of uh, contentment. They want money at all costs, so they will sell their body. So I'm saying money is good, but use, uh, don't use dubious ways to make money. Work hard. That's not, there's no problem. Abraham was rich. According to my Bible, if the last time I checked, yes, if I'm, I can say it now, Genesis 24, in everything, God has blessed him in everything. Genesis 24. And then fast forward, Genesis 26, Isaac was blessed that the whole entire Philistines envied him. Genesis 26, 12 to 14. 12 to 14. Mm. And Jacob was so much blessed. I look at the Bible, it appears more blessed people in the Bible than poor people in the Bible. And so money is not a bad thing. But then when the Bible says the root cause, mm. because people, because of money, they go to any extent. Any extent, to do anything yes, just that, to get money. That's bad. Let's say you are a young girl, you have no married. And because you need money for your hair or for a new car or a new whatever, instead of you going out with... To, to be part of the trend. Yes, <laughs> to be part of the trend. Yes. Then you look at somebody older than your father. And you take him the sugar daddy mm. so that you can take some dollars. He's that providing. Is, <laughs> he's providing. That's a bad way of doing that. Or, as a young man, instead of you working hard, right, and do small, small savings, you want to go and sleep in a, in a cemetery. Mm. That five years, you are not going to uh, take your sour because of money. That's a bad way. Or, I'm um, using your mouth. Instead of saying the truth, you lack integrity mm. so that you can lie to get money. That's a dangerous thing. Mm. And even as a pastor or a, a man of God, you give false prophecy mm -hmm. and ask all my money because of money. Those are the things that Bibles are against. So yes. you see dubious way to amass word. It's evil. And in my submission, I've made it clearly that though money is good, but you must use a good way to get money. Let me say if I if I have any time at all, maybe not shame that because I mean this will be any ziga. And see a bonnet and go pon say. My family, my home, my that one is not good at all. Mm. But if you can work hard and God bless, it's a good thing for God to bless you. And for me, I tell you, I want to be envied mm. than to be pitied. I tell you, mm. Isaac was envied. Ah, I'm not Oh, he had the other way. But in the, yes, also for such, I'm sure he, this is from Belgium, one of the wow. people who follow us. They are Wait. from Belgium. I've seen the name uh, anytime you do uh, online, online Bible. Bible yes. school. And uh, that's a good question. Dubious way, the Bible says, don't go that mm -hmm. way. Not at all. Don't be like, get mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Get hasi. And it's not time for, to collect money. And then he, yet. and yet, don't do that. Or don't be like, hey, come. But because of uh, lack of contentment, you dubious ways to steal uh, the accusation into uh, his abode. Those are the things the Bible is against. Mm. So money is a good thing. But if you use dubious ways, then you are going to destroy your life and your future. Mm. If you use dubious ways, you are going to destroy your life and your future just because of money. Let's make money the right way. Thank you so much, Alex Sechi, for asking your question. And Shiraba Sika says, Daddy, you said if you are a young lady and you are not working or does not have money, you aren't ready to marry. My question is, when do someone say or know she has money? Because having money is relative. Well, she is right, but I, I will get her to make a point that if you don't have any income at all, mm -hmm. so let's say young girl, like you have, you work, you're a banker, you're a lawyer, you're a hairdresser, or you're a businesswoman, mm -hmm. at least at the end of the month, you cover about 1,000 Ghana, 1,005, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. even 2,000, even 500 Ghana. Then you know that you are having something okay. so that you can also contribute to your quota. To your relationship mm. because as i said by my experience and the research i made most women are not very 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 much respected because everything my husband my husband so yes getting money or making money is relative but at least you need to have inflow it will be consistent it might be constant that mm -hmm. at least 
every week every or two, month, every month. You have know something. that there is something coming sure. into your account. So that you can say, well, daddy, honey, I know you pay the bills, but I want to also take uh, the, uh, the light bill, the water bill. That's good. Or maybe your husband has started building. Eh? So you say, well, because you are building, I will take the school fees. That's a good one. Mm. So we are not saying a young girl or young man make millions before. before. Not all. If I say that, it's a lie. Life, they say, is progressive attainment. But little by little, little. There, be, there might be constant inflow. Mm. It will help a lot. You yourself, can you can be happy. Mm -hmm. uh, can you imagine that your husband is saying, oh, I need one million, I need 200 Ghana, or 2,000 for something. Oh, what am I going to get this money? And you see your, your husband is sweating. Mm. And then you come and say, darling, Hey, don't worry. Hey. You, 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 how much do you say you need? Two thousand. Oh, that name. I'll send it I, to your account. No, no, no. This no. I'm not. I'm not giving you a check. I have four thousand cash. cash. Wow. Most of the time, when the check is eight no nine. Cash, 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 cash. You can imagine such a person. Then, your then. will give you some ah, uh, some hug, mm. me romantic hug. And the me. respect to just ah. Sao ni pano. If if the devil talks to him to beat you, you won't do it. Mm -hmm. If he raises, I say no, I won't try. No. God, this is my asset. Wow. I can't afford to lose it. Mm. But there are some wives in the house. There's nothing. Everything, husband, 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 mm. husband. You know, it's not the best. So it's important to make some money. You can imagine, like, if you're you for my wife. I mean, hey, she help a lot too. You know, but cannot go to SEO. We cannot go to SEO. So I know none can say or say or about your asset in life. asset. Yes. And then, if you want to you talk about how much money, mm -hmm. I tell some of you young girls, if you want to marry, go there. They want to size the person and begin to navigate his life and ask how and much ask you make. How much you make? Are you? Do you have a car? Uh -huh. Where do you? And work? then where do you live? Is it three bedroom apartment mm -hmm. or? It's a single room. Single room. Single where? Room, yeah, no, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you begin life that like, like that, your foundation or premises purely bad. Okay. A few years ago, when I proposed to her, I was a student pastor. I didn't even have a room. Hey. Because in my case, I've lived with my, uh, my family. I mean, I used to leave my family house for some time. And then as a family, I was just there. We have our own place. Mm. I decided to start life afresh. And I ended up in Bible school. So in the hostel, everything I had was there. Mm. When there's vacation, people go home. I won't go anywhere. I didn't marry her that time, but I said I proposed to her while I was living in the hostel. Without without even a room, nothing. And she accepted. She accepted. She said, Yes, I just like you the way you are, I just like you. When Arab, other people say, Hey, are you sure? Or so for only Can he take care of Can he take care of you? He said, Well, I just like I just want to marry him. Okay. Mm -hmm. So after three years, I'm sure two years thereabout, and I, I got a single room. And I began to receive some income, little by little. And then we began, by the grace of God, and here we are now. So I will never place any bedding, any yoke mm. on anybody to make money before. Mm -hmm. Just that, don't be a lazy woman or lazy man. Mm. Get something doing mm. and get some income and it will help both of you. Don't be lazy. Get some income. As a young lady and a young gentleman, says Bishop, and it's going to help us all. Is it compulsory to have a joint account as a married couple? I will never say, I will never use the word compulsory. Okay. Yes. I will just, because it depends on what we do. Mm. For example, a fair gym for a house, you know, you have a, a form of like, let's say, drugstore, chemical store, right? And uh, she, that one is for her. She has account. She operates. There's no problem. And then uh, the work we do, She's a pastor. I'm a pastor. So uh, we work here. We work other places. And we travel to do ministries. So whatever we get from elsewhere, anywhere, it comes one place. So I will never say comp the word compulsory is not the no. best. But common sense must tell you that even if you do it independently, uh, everybody must know what is going on. Okay. Uh -huh. But I will, I will never encourage you mm. to do something in secret manner. That's not the best. But at least be open. And if it is possible... Let's say both of you are civil servants. You can have joint accounts. Um, but if other person also have another business, you can have account for the business. Just that any income that you have, mm. your partner or your spouse must yes, be able to you. know what is going on. That mm. is not bad at all. So for me, that will be uh, my submission. I will never say automatically. Just that there must be transparency 
in whatever you are doing. Mm. Uh, don't try to hide anything you are doing mm. from your spouse. That's not the best thing. Mm. That's not the best. Thank you to Isaac. Good man for watching. Hello, Isaac. Dokas, if you are Ado is also watching. Hey. And what's my Benis is watching. God bless you all so much. Kojo Apia says, some women tend to look down on their husbands because they earn or provide more in the home. Also, some people tend to look down at, on others when they earn more or can afford more. So this is a typical marriage situation. And then the writer is saying that women that actually help more, earn more in the home tend to Look down. Yeah, look down. On well, why would you look down on your husband? Because I'm sure it's it also right. I mean, I don't want to make a general statement, but some, because some too, they do help, but they don't try to be rude. But I'm sure some people who are no more Christ or God centered probably will do that. But that is sad. Mm -hmm. At times, I don't understand that. Let's say uh, abroad. Today, somebody sent me a message, though we didn't preach about that, but some sent me a message from the UK, said, Daddy, hmm, uh, this money matters, we are going to treat it. I, I want to be part of because because of money, there's no peace in our home. Uh, if a man, a husband travels to the US or to Europe or to the yeah, Europe to be precise or Asia, and he comes and then uh, uh, take his wife uh, to be with him, it's not a news. Mm. But when a wife travels and comes and say, my husband, let's go every day. What kind of life is that? At times, I don't understand some wives. If you help small, then you make noise. And you are sign pro Trump, everybody come and see you, come and see you. I'm the one paying this thing. Mm. And it's not the best. So if a, a wife helps her husband or help the family and she begins to brag and make much noise, I don't think it's the best. And, uh, Whatever you have, I'll be given to you by God. So do your best. Mm. I want Teresa to be rich. That is why at times some men don't want their wives to be rich. To be richer than but, them. But for me, that is not no good mm. at all. Ah, if your, your wife God blesses her, then God blesses her. That's okay. The only thing that they say, no, I mean, well, then you don't know because at times destiny by destiny, some wives will be richer mm. than their husband. And I pray that Teresa will take over. Rich, 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 too rich. That Amen. he's somewhere crowd. That would be great. Because mm -hmm. looking at her, when she gets that kind of money, I'm going to be in giant so. hmm. Good to know. But you know, uh, this person who sent you this uh, mm -hmm. uh, remark, there was this man. True story. Okay. She told me that. She was, he was a common pastor. Ordinary pastor. Mm. The church had about 50 people. Mm. The wives received about thousand five hundred dollars when she collects her pay she comes and kneel down before the husband and give her the pay and give the husband the pay, the pay. Mm -hmm. by kneeling down kneels down her own pay. Uh, uh, if i mention the pay, this is yeah hey. yes true story wow so not all about some are doing some mm. and i was like wow today the, this man owns five Aeroplanes. It's <laughs> 40 years ago. Uh, so today, if I help your husband, keep quiet too. You never know tomorrow. If you take him for a ride, mm. Mm. That's, time will tell. That's a great example. Thank yep. you so much, Bishop. In a situation where by your boyfriend lacks financial stability, is it mandatory to support all the time as, yep. the, as the lady? Although it seems like he's not getting help from anywhere else. So you are the source. Your boyfriend. Hey, Emma Banzudi. <laughs> Your boyfriend lacks finances and you are helping him. Okay, the boyfriend is a, a word. Let us uh, dive into it. Okay. Umprana, the, the one you have sex with. Oh, um, this she, one, the, I'm person, sure, the person didn't state. And by this one, I'm sure it is. The imprint in it is not this one, the, it's imprint in it. But Number one, <laughs> why would you engage in boyfriend, girlfriend, and then uh, uh, you also use your money? To support. That, it is bad completely. Mm. I will never encourage any young girl to support her boyfriend finances because mm. most friendship never lasts in marriage. In other words, the end, probably there might be disappointment. And if he disappoints you, 
then you see that you have invested and your investment didn't bring any Indeed. interest. So why will you do something of that sort? Boyfriend, now want to use for all try then. Why are they? Why are they? And then what are you talking about? Why are you closing your eyes? Let's be realistic now. Kojo, where are you going? Everybody's running away from me. Kojo, uh, come here. Yeah, hey. so uh, why, why you support your boyfriend? It's not good. It's not good. Ah, boyfriend. Can you imagine that somebody came to me and daddy, and he wants to marry me. And the man does have for the thing. I want to give you money to do the engagement. Mm -hmm. And then after that, ah, that is very bad. You only support a man who has paid your blood price. Okay. Yes. As for your husband, you can buy him a blueprint. You can buy him everything. Your husband. But not your boyfriend. Not your boyfriend, no. Because boyfriend and you both of you are sinning against God. And because you are sinning against God, God is not there with you. So surely, 95% there shall be, or there might be disappointment. And here you are, you have invested. You have wasted your resources. Okay. Bishop, what if there is nothing like impenetrating going on? If there's but, no sex, yes. still don't support him with money. Okay. Yeah, why would you support a man with your money? Mm. No, that's bad. Listen, mm. a woman, you are a helper. You only help your husband. Your husband, not your Not your boyfriend, whether sex or no sex. Mm. You don't help any man that's not your husband. Mm -hmm. that, I'm talking about Bible. Bible, the same way, young girl too, if uh, you, you have a boyfriend, boy, boy, men, listen to me. If a young man, number one, having a girlfriend, having sex is evil. But in case you are doing and you are supporting her, anyway, if you have sex with a woman there, in the name of Jesus, you need to support her. And they say, more worry, I don't know. And somebody more worry. But I'm saying it is not the best. It's not the best. In a relationship before marriage, if any one of you give I financial support, it. no. Once a while, let's say you have somebody, fiancé, there's no sex. Hmm. This is your crumb crumb, you know, it's the best. So I was, hello, are you okay? I'm okay, but I guess that today they're okay. I'm going to have 50 guys. And I'm going to give you a video. I'm going to give you a video. I'm going to give you a video. Because I don't think it's the best. So, because in most cases, when you know, the men or the guys begin to give you money, 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 mm -hmm. the end result is that we are going to have some sex, you know, yeah. So for me, I like supporting each other, but it might be in the platform of marriage. Of marriage. Because the Bible says you are going to be a helpmate, mm. not a permit. Yeah. Well said, Bishop. So growing up as a young lady, my parents made sure I liked I lacked nothing. Now I'm with a man in a relationship and I doubt that he can provide all my needs and meet up with my standard of living when we marry. What do I do? The man cannot meet your standard. What yes, do you mean by standard? Because um, her parents have provided everything since her childhood. Mm -hmm. The man or the no, girl? No, the girl. Oh, now well. she's going to marry a man and she sees that the man may not be capable. Well, never compare a husband, your husband to your, peer, your father. Mm. Or never compare your wife to your mom. Mm. Now, when she says my standard... Maybe the parents were rich and they've helped mm -hmm. her to that level. She needs to know that every level has its own challenges. Okay. So when you get to a level, you need to change your standard. Mm -hmm. If you love the man, mm -hmm. make sure the man can provide your basic needs. Mm -hmm. That's not bad at all. Basic needs ought to provide it. But don't bring your experience from your home. Mm -hmm. The way your, your parents give you money, money, money. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, life, I've already said, it's progressive attainment. So maybe in the beginning, this man in question cannot or might not because of lack of purchasing power, might not give you all you need. But who, who, can, who knows? Maybe tomorrow he can even do better than your parents. Mm -hmm. So don't judge the man by what we see today. Like and that's the problem of young girls that have come today. Mm -hmm. You look at people, you size them, you navigate their life, you try to bring them into your situation. Oh, I call it an an don't, don't judge people. Don't crucify people before their time. Today, the man in question might not give you uh, your standard the way you, you see it, but you never know tomorrow. Mm. He can be better off. Make sure there's no sex in your relationship. And make sure he and you yourself love Jesus. That's all you need. With Jesus on your side, 
everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Ishiraba Sika Kwabia says, this preaching is going to collapse some people's business. So, hmm. Kojo Apia says, but can't the lady support in the engagement process? Like she has some of the materials or even talk to her family to take out some of the stuff while the guy is also making some efforts too. Wanya. Wanya, Papa. Then it says, oh, me, in the Bible, me, me draw Bible that I'm not speaking my mind. Mm -hmm. From the Bible, I've seen examples. Mm -hmm. Abraham sent his chief of staff, Eliezer, to go and marry Rebecca. Okay. There's no, there was no record, but the Bible said he provided everything, everything. to the family of Rebecca and brought Rebecca to Isaac. Mm -hmm. The same way I've also seen Boaz marry Ruth, pay everything payable. So, hey, traditionally, culturally, a member, we are the, the men marries the woman. And if I'm not ready, don't try. Mm -hmm. I've never sit on this platform to say, well, because he's going to marry you, you should bring some stuff. You know why? Because most cases, since we are human beings, a day will come, there shall be confrontation, misunderstanding. Then the man will tell you, in the beginning, I didn't even love you. Mm -hmm. You are the who you forced You forced. Me. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. And you know, women, and those are the things you don't want to hear from a man that you claim is your lover. Mm -hmm. So if you don't, if you can't write, don't spell at all. Don't start. Every young man, if you want to marry, make sure you have something to do. But there are some uh, exceptional cases. There are some people they will give out some things. Maybe you want the, the the family say buy thirty piece of cloth. He say, well, I, I have ten because at least you are, you are coming to marry me. So this and this and that are exceptions, but. I don't want to use the exceptions as a norm. So I'm saying, don't do that. Let the man come and pay your, price, your bride price and take you along. Don't forget, I've already indicated, don't support a man who is not your husband. Who is not your husband. Yes. That's established. Established completely. Okay. So Kukwa says, I am not being taken care of by my parents. So I resorted to sleeping with men to get money. I hope God understands. God understands? Hey, well, God will never understand because God has given you ideas to be a worker. Mm. Yes, the Bible says the hand that must not work must not eat. If you want to take care of yourself, yes, despite the lack of probably your parents, what are you doing about your life? Can't you make money by learning a trade? Or selling ice water, tomatoes, oranges, or bread. Do something. Today, crowd, you can be at your home and then go to, you can create something. You go to social media, create something, brand something, and begin to make some money. In so, of creating these things, you need money to start up. Okay. So, in most cases, mm -hmm. if you have one phone, you can sell your phone and start something. And in case you go to church and you know the kind of church you go, you can talk to the pastor or the uh, so, I mean, you know, you go Elderly to the welfare, people. other people can start something. In other words, don't look for big money mm. at all. I've as given, as you can yes, get. peace chapel, I've given somebody 200 Ghana. And today, probably the man, the, the woman can say, I don't know, but if you want maybe 50,000, she can give to you. Get 200 Ghana. Great. Yeah, that's the, the thing. Mm. At times, young people... Money is good thing, but you want to start life with big money. Mm -hmm. So for you to sell your body, oh, you are destroying your future. Money is good, but don't do that one. Make money in a very good way. Mm -hmm. By you yourself, doing some mini job, get some income, little by little. Those times when you begin like that, you don't need to buy things, change your clothes. No, you don't need to do that. Because mm -hmm. everything has its time. At times you need to do your hair maybe a month. Now it is you go you know, kakra <laughs> kransa, little by little, mm -hmm. as you are faithful to God, that's God is going to help you. The mm -hmm. truth is, if a holy young girl, if you live a holy life, God will cause men to help you. Amen. If you don't believe, amen. when you close, amen. ask your friend amen. who says amen. Yes, amen. I run here. Amen. And you too, you know. Amen. Uh. <laughs> okay. I needed a huge amount of money for my mother's hospital. Bishop, this is a practical example. I needed a huge amount of money for my mother's hospital bills and drugs. Mm -hmm. So I went to my boss for salary advance. And he gave me the option to sleep with him first. My mom is dying. What do I do? Well, 
for me, I will tell you, don't sleep with your boss. Well, let, let your mother die. If he was going to die, yeah, sleep with your boss. I mean, you, you pick Peter. And you rub Peter to you, pay Paul. Yes, you rub Peter to pay Paul. It doesn't work. But the truth is, listen, this our God, they look unto him. Mm. Their faces were radiant. They, they were, were not, not ashamed. ashamed. If you faithfully, diligently, mm -hmm. practically, expressly, hey. stand for Jesus. Push up. Ha, God will surprise your life. Amen. Your mother will never die. But those kind of trivial excuses, I don't like it. Watch this. If you want to give excuse, you are going to have one anyway. Let your boys, let your boss and her, his money go into hell. Hmm. To hell with your money. You can't wow. see my nakedness. On the somebody, man. how can you destroy my future with this non non answer? Not not at all, mm -hmm. non ethical thing. But I tell you, if you stand by God, mm -hmm. ah, He will surprise you. And when you leave your boss, say, oh God, did you hear that one? God our Father in heaven, my body belongs to you. The man want to do this, oh, so God, God of Abraham, God of Bishop Adolfo, act now. And before you get there, you see miracle. Mm -hmm. God is told. In the act of miracle, yeah. So let's look on to Jesus and don't sell your body for anything, mm. no excuse, not at all. But even in all of this, if your, your mother dies, be faithful unto God. I beg you to go, said God, you know, He can save us if He fails, He will die for Him. I would rather die for Jesus than to compromise. Mm. Yeah, this is the word of God being used to answer the questions and it's been money matters on family matters so far so good we are being taught and educated on how to manage money the role money plays in marriage the role money plays in the lives of singles and i tell you i'm learning a lot and i believe wherever you are it's been a blessing to you keep your comments your questions your contributions coming on our facebook comment section or to 055459 and it will be dealt with accordingly. Thank you so much and much love to you all. Can I borrow money to pay my fees since I like I lack support? I am in a final year. Yes, I'm in final year. Borrow money. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, who 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 was sponsoring you when you began the, the school, like first year or something? Mm. And uh, if you borrow money to pay fees, it's not bad. Get yeah, that the conditions ought to be spelled out. Probably, well, this is my final year. Hello, my friend. I need probably 1000 mm. And then you got to know how you are going to pay. Explain to that person. Although a borrower, you become a slave to your lender. Mm. But at that particular moment, I'd rather go and borrow money than to sell my body to pay my fees. Okay. But I'm saying... You need to spell out the conditions clearly. clearly. And if you do that too, mm. so that tomorrow the person can also help you. So probably you can don't go and tell the person, well, give me money tomorrow, I'm going to pay. No. Yes, I've tried all means. Mm -hmm. There's no way. I know you can help me. Mm. Help me, but it's not for free. And after school, immediately I get a job. Probably six months or so, I'm going to pay you. Mm. Or God can also act miracle. At times, when we need money, we just go, oh, and that's not the best because you don't control tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's not good to borrow, but some instances, it's important mm -hmm. to do so. They I mean, to. they need to. Mm -hmm. For me, I would rather go, as I said, go and borrow money to do the right thing than to go and sleep with a man. So let's say if your mother is dying and the boss says, I want to sleep with you, no way. But if somebody wants to borrow money to pay later, I'll do that to save my mom. But for my body, I want to give, I'd rather die. Mm. with my mom mm. to give my body to you let us stand for jesus i don't know what is happening today our 21st century young girls young men they call themselves christians by every day compromising because of money matters it's not right no question is most people cannot speak the truth because, because of, of money, money. Ah, mm. i told you you you, you are even sick at times my my heart begins to bleed what is all happening you 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 listen to the social media uh, and you can see these people. Mm. It's purely deception. And it's so sad. Mm. At times, we have an awesome phone to be. And we'll defo it in one gym. It's sad. So money is good. But because of money matters, mm. people are going on board. And Jesus is coming. I was just sharing with somebody 
after the wedding today, I told him, we have only one landlord. We are all tenants. And like the message we heard during the, uh, the celebration, if you don't live with God at, at peace, mm -hmm. he may come for his keys. So you got to be careful what you use your body for. Oh. Yeah, no compromise. Mm. Let your yes be yes. Very vital. Money is good, but use a good way to make, to money. make money. I have seen people in this church working hard from young in their younger age, and God is blessing them little by little. I've seen people around the I mean, nations of the world. God blesses. The God who blessed Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and is still blessing people. You are also a, a child of God. You are not uh, God's enemy. Mm -hmm. Your time will surely come. Your Just that, I will encourage everybody, work. Don't be a lazy person. Mm -hmm. When they give assignment, do it well. Be a diligent person. And you got to know that a laziness amounts to Poverty. Mm. Find something doing. Very vital. And in marriage, Mr. Husband, don't no excuse. Make money. Work hard. Mm. Pray to God. Mm. Love Jesus. Mm. And bring money home. So bring that your wife home. and children can be happy. Be happy. And madam, don't stay there. That in the What is what you Five years. Ah. You want to buy part and your husband to give you money? Mm. No, no, no. Not at all. Make money buy those things and be a supportive wife. Mm -hmm. Very vital. Mm -hmm. Because if there's no money in the relationship, you know, and go no cause I say there are some wives they deny their husband sex. And at times people say superstitiously uh, because of uh, spiritual marriage. At some say if there's no money, if the wife in question is hungry, mm -hmm. there's no money. Okay. Or do any other you know but you you know those things. So money is good. Make money. Take care of it. I'm not also giving these lances to a wife. And did you hear what the bishop says? No. Mo no money, no sex. That's also not acceptable at all. You don't need to do that. But I'm saying most people by my research and experience, they say no because they are hungry. Mm. So if you're a man and all you think that, well, I want to marry because I want to enjoy sex. Young guy. You don't have money. You, are not, you don't have any income. Well, somebody has sex. Because the sex itself, they're not going to get it. And listen, at times you can be a young man, you have seen beautiful young girls, especially peace chapel ladies, very beautiful. Mm. But if you are not working, they won't marry you. Is it true? True. Uh -huh. So, Kojo, did you hear that one? Uh -huh. Kojo. You got to make, if you don't, hey, is that good here? No money, no marry. Mm. So, if, <laughs> if you don't work hard, you don't plan your life, you don't do savings. You may look to a young, beautiful lady, but you can never. You see Canaan, but he, he, ah, he yeah, never yeah. stepped in. Uh, it's important. Oh, mm here? -hmm. Now, at times, you 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 yourself, you go to cut, you, you go to look at yourself. Before you go, you, Before you, go, day, ah, you, you must be able to sit down and analyze yourself. Oh, you must be able to sit down and analyze yourself. Today, <laughs> I'm not saying use dubious ways, but I tell you, make money according to your level. Mm. Uh -huh. But a man says, "I want to move away." Take it easy. I want to move away. Tell me, I'm not mama. Pressure. A bank of funds or that. Could you also do some more? Or move your duke? Say, "I want to move away." Kakra. Ah, pressure. I don't know. you? I'm not speaking the truth. You look at him. He's happy now. Somebody say, "Who is Kajo?" One of my camera assistant, you know, over this place. He's doing very well. Okay, so Bishop, in a scenario of um, a tertiary school where the lecturer or professor asks for money to give grades, and that is what he's doing. He's giving grades to everyone, so pay an amount of money to get to give grades. As a Christian student in the school, what do you do? Well, this is a very critical, ethical question. Mm. Uh, I will never give money for grades. Because let's say a medical doctor. I'm a medical student. If I give money, you give me AA, and I become <laughs> a doctor, and I have my hospital. How can I treat people who have problems uh, with this money grid thing? Mm. And if you're a banker, it comes back to every kind of work you do. You can't do a professional work if your grades or your certificate was given to you by money. By money. So for me, I was turned on the, the, the law side. Sir, God bless you. You are a good lecturer. 
But for me and my family, there's no money. So he should fail you. What you need to do is that go before this, your this. Okay. I believe God. Mm -hmm. Commit the election into the hands of God. Mm. In the name of Jesus, mm. you are changer of destiny. Mm -hmm. Even Pharaoh, you took over. You created ah. this my lecture. Mm. Father, and I give an Either he changed himself or he's removed. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a story that I went to a conference outside the country. A banker mm. was told to sign that this year nobody's going to be promoted. He said, Me, I can't sign my destiny like that. Mm. The manager said, Fully, he said, Thank you. So, so other people signed because this man stood on his ground and the, his philosophy. The next year, the big board also met and then they were doing some changes. The man in question who wanted this guy to sign was removed. And eventually, the one that didn't sign was taken to take out of the place. True story. So God is God. Though. He's mm. still at work. Mm. Just that we limit ourselves. We think that there's some issue we can't handle. Mm. Young girl. Don't compromise. My God can handle everything handleable is possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Young girl, don't compromise. God can handle everything. So do not compromise. Wow. Whenever I begin to save something, whenever I begin to save, something comes up and I squander the money. Any advice, please? Forgive from Akutima. <laughs> something. There are some money. Whatever happens, mm -hmm. it becomes untouchable. So you got to psych your mind up. Mm. I have, as I said, as a Christian, 100%. 100% is my income, right? I have only 100%. 100% as my income, I have given 10% to God. 30% mm. is not for me. It's for my future. Okay. So in your mind, you have only 60. You do every expenses, helping the needy, Helping the poor mm. and the kingdom ministry, your transportation, your bills within the sister percent after you finish. That's it. So make up your mind that I only have sister percent mm. every month mm. in my life. That's all I have. So take your mind from that it's 30 percent. If you don't do that, you can't do that. You can never do anything. That is why self discipline is vital. Mm. Self discipline. Mm. And this part of the world here. In, I don't know the West Africans. I don't know to thank God today. I mean, Christianity education is helping us, but savings is not part of our culture. Eh? Or quite mamba taxi driver. I know I win this guy. Also, for no, I win this There are some people they are even living government bungalows, mm -hmm. and they think that it belongs to them. At the, the day of retirement, they begin to smell pepper. So please do some savings mm -hmm. and make it. And this is in your lifestyle. Your, I mean, make it your your encyclopedia. This one is untouchable. As a matter of fact, I don't have money. Mm. Like every day, I don't have money. 30%, 30%. Can you imagine at the age of 18, if you begin to save 30% of any money that comes to you? By the time you hit 25 and you marry, you see how much you can give to your husband. Mm. Your wedding night, honeymoon, mm. you bring a check. Hello, darling. Thank God. Uh, during this one, I have... 12,000 pounds, wow. 25,000 euros, yes. 18,000 dollars, 150,000 Ghana. Oh, one person. One person. Amen. This is what I have wow. to give to you to start life. Wow. That husband of yours cannot sleep that night. Wow. So you begin life like that. Now they only have the Now, I mean, at times unnecessary. You just take your car. You are driving. Where are you going? I'm going to visit a friend. Just that. Anyway, so that's why I would say, no matter what happens, there must be some savings in your life. If you don't believe anything, allow coronavirus to advise, to advise you. Mm. You never know 2021 what is going to happen. Going to happen. Watch out. Mm. Watch out. This is what Bishop says. Money matters has been good, has been very educative and interactive. I want to thank you all our viewers for staying tuned throughout tonight's show. We believe that you've been blessed and you've learned a lot. So be disciplined. No matter what happens, 30% of your, your income should be saved. So here comes the end of tonight's edition of Family Matters. And it's a was on Money Matters. Thank you so much. But before we go, Family Matters has a special package for our bishop. And within the week on Tuesday... 
Bishop celebrated his birthday. So, on behalf of the production team, we have a special packet to give to Bishop. Can I have the packet, please? Hey. Thank you. Interesting. So, Bishop, happy belated birthday from Thank you. Family Matters crew to Bishop and your wife. Okay, so let me let me show our viewers what we have. Uh, this okay. is a special uh, Family Matters T-shirt oh. from Mickey Brand. <laughs> okay. Oh. Mickey Brand made this shirt and what I am wearing and as well as what every crew is wearing right now. So if you if you want if you want Mickey Brand to help you out with any shirt, any print out, any card, wedding card, invite, whatever, cap and anything printable, just just call zero five five four five nine two five six nine and you will be close to him or you get to him. And thanks to Mary, my little sister, who made me up this evening. Thank you so much. Shout out to you. God bless. Thank you. Oh, if I've given it to me earlier, I could have put it on because I must see me. Because uh, what is all this? I didn't have seven. Bishop, next time. I didn't have it time. was your gift, so we have hey, to show. So, but then it was okay. I'm, I'm, I'm saying thank you, but ah, uh, the bad thing is yeah, go for a moment as well. But God bless you for thinking. Amen. But you made it too because my wife yes, needs to have one. You, you and your wife. Because next week we are coming here. Uh, wow. Me wow. Yes. Okay. life. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. But next time, please add some money. Bishop, don't worry. <laughs> they, they are bringing the dollars and the pounds. They are saving. Ah, come, God bless savings. you. Because you, God bless you. Okay, so thank Back you. Here. God bless you. Thank everybody. you all. Thank you to the production team of Family Matters. You've been so wonderful. Your sacrifices, your love, your support has been amazing. So I want to remind you, if you are watching, as that tomorrow happens to be a Sunday. And yes, Sunday is the Lord's Day. You can't afford to miss church service. If you've made up your mind that you're not going to church. By the name of Jesus, may you change your mind and may you come to church tomorrow very early. We are at Nyameche, opposite Motorway Mother Care, at Speech Chapel International. You should join our service. It's a powerful Sunday service. It's all white. We are giving praise and thanks and worship to the Most High for adding another year to the life of our Papa, Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo. You will come and go back with immense blessings. So I want to remind you too of our divine encounter that comes up from Monday to Saturday, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. on Facebook. Don't forget that we also have Peace Online Bible School that takes off every Monday evenings and Thursday evenings, 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. every evening. And Family Matters will come back again next week at 7 p.m. sharp. And Bishop has already announced we are having Bishop and Mama Enyonam on the show, so you can't miss. God bless you. See you soon. Bye. Amazing web. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, back to the center. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate Peace Chapel International at the Nyamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel With International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Joy. Shalom. Amazing web.